Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Kathy Griffin screams bitch fuck you after Sarah Sanders comes at her and makes her cry like a baby. Kathy Griffin was at it again, showing the nasty side of her character as she taunted Sarah Sanders. This all started when the White House press secretary summoned Griffin like a demon during one of Sanders' press briefings. That provoked Griffin to respond, sans class, as usual in a profanity-laced tirade that resembled a foul-mouthed child cussing at a teacher for taking away her recess. The classy side of things was all on the part of Sarah Sanders as she yanked the proverbial wubba nub from the seething lips of Griffin who could only muster a few fourth-grade-level words in her classless response. Those are surely fighting words but the battle is already won. One of the women has an illustrious job in the White House and is loved by many, previously rated as one of the most admirable women in America. The other is rejected comedian with a failed comedy career who goes by the name Kathy Griffin. Many of us are all about the freedom of speech and it's fine that Griffin says whatever she wants, however, she's trying to fight class with crass and it's not working in her favor, pretty much like everything else she's endured ever since Trump won the election and she started with her antics. The main problem with Griffin is that she's just not funny, but she keeps trying to be. There's plenty of foul-mouthed comedians who do a great job because their content is sufficiently humorous. The same cannot be said about Griffin. Griffin swearing at classy Sarah Sanders is like an amateur boxer biting Mike Tyson's toe, when he was in his prime, of course. Yahoo added this to the story, Kathy Griffin had some stern words for White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders on Wednesday, after Sanders invoked Griffin's name during a press briefing. Griffin, who suffered considerable fallout last year after posing for photographs with an object that resembled the severed head of President Donald Trump, responded to the mention via Twitter, saying, Bitch. Do not come for me. Bitch, do not come for me. I did not call you, Griffin wrote in a tweet containing a snippet of the briefing that mentioned her. Griffin had another bit of advice for Sanders. And for fuck's sake, take a cold reading class, maybe you won't stumble so much, Griffin added. Griffin's name came up in response to a question about the cancellation of Roseanne Tuesday, after series star Roseanne Barr made an offensive comment on Twitter. Specifically, Sanders addressed Trump's response to the situation, in which Trump said that he hadn't received an apology for the horrible statements made and said about me on ABC, which aired Roseanne, he's simply pointing out the bias. The president is pointing to the hypocrisy in the media, saying that the most horrible things about this president, and nobody addresses it. Where was Bob Iger's apology to the White House staff for Jamel Hill calling the president and anyone associated with him a white supremacist? to Christians around the world for Joy Behar calling Christianity and mental illness," Sanders said during the briefing. Where was the apology for Kathy Griffin going on a profane rant against the president on The View after a photo showed her holding President Trump's decapitated head? And where was the apology from Bob Iger for ESPN hiring Keith Olbermann after his numerous expletive-laced tweets attacking the president as a Nazi, and even expanding Olbermann's role after that attack against the president's family? In a subsequent tweet, Griffin declared. I'll tell her where the fucking apology is." Barr's successful Roseanne revival, which had previously been renewed for a second season, was cancelled by ABC on Tuesday after Barr insulted former Obama adviser Valerie Jarrett, suggesting that Jarrett is a product of the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes. Barr subsequently apologized, but the apology failed to save her show, which was given the axe by ABC. Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant and inconsistent with our values and we have decided to cancel her show," ABC Entertainment President Channing Dungey said in a statement to The Wrap on Tuesday. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.